Welcome back to Boating Journey. If this is your first time discovering us, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate your support. This week, we're back at the Miami Boat Show, wandering around the sailboats at the Museum Park Marina. Located a short shuttle bus or water taxi away from the main boat show locations, walking among the sailboats offered a more relaxed, laid back atmosphere, often associated with the cruiser lifestyle. So come along as this week we take a look at the brand new Privilege Signature 580. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. Huge sugar scoop here. Let's go straight up as we always do, straight out to the bow. Nice clean decks here. Look at this, nothing on the decks at all. Flush mounted hatches. None of the lines get in your way. Wow. This is nice. Looking back. Oh, look at that. We have solar arrays. We have an upper deck. That was kind of a surprising. Wasn't expecting that. This is a beautiful boat. Let's walk around. Windless foot controls. Again, look at this. Wide, wide walkway. And the fact is, I mean, you have these handholds here, very strong handholds, but you almost don't need them. It's so wide and comfortable. Now, granted, out in the seas, you may. Let's go into the helm station here. Nice, clean lines. All the lines come back here to the home station. I like that they're even covered out on deck. Keeps the deck nice and clean and safe. Power winches, controls, you even have thrusters. Perfect. And if we go up, there's a nice little lounge area here. Just sit back cruise. Wow, this is nice. Quite the rigging. I'm not a sailor, so I'm not going to try and describe all the different lines. Sheets, sails. Haven't quite learned that language yet, but maybe someday. As we head down, what I do like about this though is you have more, more seating area. Lots of solar, hatches galore, so you know the inside light's coming in. Nice covered bimini here as well, so you're protected during cruising. Uh, watch the boom. Gotta hit your head every time. Walk down in the cockpit. of which is all over the place. I love the seating area. And even a nice little seat here. And look at these stairs. I like that the fact they're not just bland. Fiberglass, beautiful. Pass through. Beautiful. How you doing today? Hey. 
Oh yeah, solid clouds. Yeah, which which actually isn't bad. Refrigerator freezer? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I noticed one back there. So perfect. Yeah, you can also build this boat with a full down and down, like a full shut fit. Okay. It took me a second there. I saw the mirror and I'm like, wait a second, you got stairs going back up again yeah. on that side. I'm like, wow. Oh, dude, <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> now that's a design I've never seen before. We don't the water. No, no, no. Okay, so now we're in the starboard aft berth. Kind of nice. It has stairs getting you into it which allows you to still have a nice, clean walk around so people aren't crawling over each other. Plenty of storage here. And then plenty of storage. There's a little thing locker down there. I'm assuming this is the day head. I like that. Electric toilet, sink, and separate shower stall with rain head shower. As we move forward on the starboard side, I'm assuming we have a mirrored, somewhat mirrored. So this is gonna be forward starboard berth. Not a full walk around. We chose to put in a nightstand here, but I do like the little night lights here so you can read or do whatever you wanna do without disturbing your partner. storage here. Yep. And this is probably access to something. Oh, nope, just a little bit more storage. Kind of nice, but there's actually, it looks like there's more storage or access down to the bilge from here. Is there no storage under the bed? Oh yeah, there is storage under the bed. Let's see what this is. nice deep drawer or here there we go into some of your holding tanks I didn't do well in physics, so I'm gonna actually have to walk across. Go yeah, I'm gonna to go to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> so port side forward, this is the primary berth. I like this. So I might walk around, so you're still not gonna crawl over everybody. Separate lavatory and sink. Plenty of storage along here, plenty of windows and hatches. Separate shower and sink area. Yep. Nice big hanging locker. Again, more storage. Moving aft, we have one more. Again, this mirror is much the aft berth. Uh, the starboard side. Same storage, same bathroom. What I really like about this one here is if we move forward in the primary, we have access to the little seating area that's out front. That's kind of nice. So you have access to that and it gives you access a little bit to a day head without having to, you still go into the master, but it is just a day head right there. So if you're sitting out here in front enjoying your day, 
You don't have to go inside and go all the way down the stairs. This is gorgeous. And of course they have a convenient little staircase here or ladder to get you up to the upper deck as well. Careful with this step. Got a little bit of a well here. We lay appliances. And as you know, I like giant sink. You put multiple pans in here. And you have the refrigerator freezer here. Large, large melee dishwasher. Was there a washer dryer on board? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure it's a beautiful boat. What year, is it a brand new boat? Year, what year is it? This boat is not brand new. It's actually, it's, it's not brand new and it is brand new. Because it's hull number two, so it's the okay. latest model from the builder. Gotcha. So it's the newest of our, it's our newest design. So in our mind. Not previously owned. Let's put, no, 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 no. Okay. This has got its only one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a new design and it's hull number two, so it really is brand new. Mm -hmm. it, it's a, it, the, the layout's fantastic, especially even with the primary, having the in, inside and outside access, a little bit of day head access, a little bit if you want to consider that day head through here, downstairs, you know. Um, but yeah, ab absolutely. Total, it, it, but even even so, with the still being four beds for births, it's, you know, usually you see the primary as a whole hall and everything like that, but there's a lot of wasted space sometimes here. It's to have that extra, you don't feel cramped, let's put it that way, in the primary, and still have the space to have the extra one. Yeah, this is nice. Very nice. Well, good luck, I hope you sell it. Well, it's not for sale. Oh, it's not for sale. Oh, oh it's just here for show? It's here, but they bought it. Oh, gotcha. Most of these boats, I, I shouldn't speak that I don't know that, but it would seem to me a few of these boats are actually for sale. Oh, really? They're, okay. When, when, when these shows are used to promote, yeah, sure. And, and not actually sell that in particular boat. What's the build time on something like this? This boat would be about three years. Three years. Wow. Okay. That's a long time. You've got to be patient then, huh? If you're not going to be patient, you shouldn't buy it. Fair enough. Drive you crazy. Or you just pay a little more and get so whole number two. Patient, <laughs> yeah, that that is true. I, 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 I can relate to that too much. Anybody in boating can relate to that. So fantastic. Thank you very much. This is a beautiful boat. Yep. And back out here is a nice little center console dinghy. Pretty nice. Even that thing is alone. So that's interesting. This boat is not for sale. However, if you wanted to buy it, you too can have yours for a three year wait. Like that. Good hydraulic lift that will drop you right into the water. Also keep it dry in the meantime. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell. Thanks again for your support, and see you next time.